Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dream back with another trucking video for you guys today. And on today's video, I'm going to be going over the good and the bad about being a truck driver, at least with Sierra England, for the last six months. So, before I even get started, if you are planning on joining Sierra England, I will have a link down in the description and in the comments section for those of you guys that want to hook me up by setting me up as a referral. I get a little bonus out of it, I help you out throughout the way, and it's free, so it's a win win, right? But um, let's get started with this video. Um, just to keep in mind, this is not all going towards like Sierra England. This is in general, like as a truck driver. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, I will start off with the bad list. I have it like on my iPad right in front of me for my notes. And then I'll go over the good stuff. So uh, some of the bad things, most of these I'm noticing are with over the road, which if you guys see my previous videos you guys know that right after training i went into team over the road and then because they didn't have a dedicated position for me available they switched me over to solo over the road right until i waited um so the first thing is little home time so if you're over the road you're out for about three to four weeks at a time and you're not going home because you're going state to state to state right um the thing is you to be even considered to go home you need to submit a home time request like two weeks in advance and stuff like that so that that just wasn't for me over here in dedicated you get to go home every single week um and it's for like a day and a half so it's not bad at all so for those of you guys that are parents dedicated or day cab driving would be the best bet because you're home way more often especially here in target you do have like a two three hour gap if you live close um, and if you want to risk it and drive home you can i don't because it's too far <laughs> but um another thing is you're not getting paid to be waiting on over the road in general so and over the road while you're getting unloaded yeah it could take two three hours depending on where you're located at or where you're getting unloaded from and you're not getting paid so you have to go to off duty stuff like that and it's your time uh, your time so it sucks because some some of these locations you can't really go outside cross the street go to a store you can't really do that you have to stay in your truck and it, it sucks especially if they take long if they do any delays and stuff like that so watch out for that especially if you're over the road driver over here in dedicated you don't really have to wait um long hours for delays and stuff like that because you're in the back you're actually watching them unload um in some cases you can actually go shopping in the target you can get some starbucks i've had some managers actually pay for my starbucks because they've taken long or stuff like that so pretty awesome pretty nice perks of um in that situation another thing is mediocre pay once again this is for over the road mediocre pay maybe it might have just been the way me and my team driver were running um at the time especially since we were brand new like fresh out of school but we were averaging about eight nine hundred bucks every single week for those of you guys that are new you might be like holy shit that's still good what are you talking about i'll get right into it it's not um but keep in mind it might have just been the way we were running things so it could have been more i was expecting more especially since we're going state to state to state so at the end of the day not really as much especially because that's gross so they're gonna take taxes out and so yeah keep that in mind uh, another thing is trailer washouts um scales and like roadside and stuff like that when you're over the road you have to do your own trailer washes and you have to go through that line sometimes it takes like an hour sometimes it even takes two hours just to go get your trailer washed out and then you have to wait for it to to dry up before you get loaded and stuff like that and then if you're overweight you have to go through the scales you have to slide your tandem stuff like that where once again you're not getting paid especially if your truck's not moving and then another thing is roadside assistance um, this happens both in any position you're in but roadside assistance is a pain especially if you're over the road you're away from like your original uh, like your your colton yard or your salt lake city yard and stuff like that you have to wait for an actual loves um truck to come to you and stuff like that and it takes hours just for them to get to your location fix whatever the issue is and stuff like that and for those of you guys that have been watching my channel you guys know the horrible luck that i've gone through and over the road where i've had like three or four popped tires just the pain and especially it delays your trip it delays your next trip and it's just a full-on mess 
another thing is truck stop parking and trucks and truck stop food so um truck stop parking if you're over the road and let's say you're solo sometimes at night you're not going to be finding good parking or parking in general so you got to watch out for that um truck stop food oh my god you're going to go through subway carl's jr wendy's uh, freaking burger king chester's and just just to name a few um they have like a denny's iron skillet pilots has like their own food right there with like pizza hot just, I'm, I'm gonna just stop talking <laughs> um so obviously if you want to eat healthy it's bring your own food but for that you will need a power inverter or microwave a freaking fridge and now that we're into the power inverters i'm actually gonna get one but it's 635 bucks for a power inverter and that is through cr england i thought yeah you could buy one from loves or pilots and stuff like that but apparently you can't um i'd call like a disp or someone i guess but um I spoke to the people in the Colton yard, the mechanics there, and I told them to, to get me a power inverter because I'm going to leave the truck there over this weekend for my next home time request. And they gave me a document or a paper I had to sign saying that I'm going to pay for it, of course. But it's 635 bucks, 350 for the power inverter itself, 160 for the harness, which I don't know what the hell that is, and 125 for the labor which comes out to 635 bucks. But if you don't want to pay it in full, they do have payment plans where 52 bucks, 92 cents um, a month for 12 months. So yeah, they'll take it out of your check, 52 bucks a month, no issue. But um, at least you'll have something where you can connect your microwave, something you'll connect your, um, your mini fridge, stuff like that. So um, I'm getting it, you know what, because I'm eating too much fast food, at least this way. You know, I bring some food with me. You know, I bring some bread, some tuna, some, it's just something in general, something where I could keep my waters cold because I, you guys know I don't go good with water. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. Um, it, my truck's, well, our truck's a little mess right now, but we, I bought, I went to Sam's Club and I spent 400 bucks at Sam's, <laughs> 400 bucks. But um, I bought a lot of waters, um, some protein bars, some pop tarts, and then up here, um, some cup of noodles you can't really see but um just a few things obviously at the 400 bucks i didn't bring everything here uh, i most of it went to my house but um 400 bucks for sam's club but um but yeah at least now i'm going to be bringing food that i could be eating healthier at least because i am trying to work out i am trying to eat healthier i'm trying to get fit you know stuff like that and as a truck driver, you don't really have as much time as you want to or the flexibility of going to a gym, um, doing home workouts, stuff like that. It's especially if you're always on the road. Keep in mind. Another thing is uh, the weather. Weather is horrible. Not all the time, but it is horrible. You will drive through uh, windstorms, sandstorms, heavy rain, heavy fog, heavy snow, uh, just lightning, stuff like that. And for some reason arizona has that all the time yesterday there was lightning a lot it was very windy not as bad as a wind but um yeah and especially if you're you're empty in the back uh there is risk of flipping over yeah i have seen vehicles i mean trailers that are flipped over on the side of the road and stuff like that thankfully nothing has happened to us but um it's just scary especially when you're driving straight and then out of nowhere boom, like you feel your truck shake because of the wind random winds and stuff like that so always be careful if you if you don't feel co confident driving in these weather conditions just pull over call your dispatch let them know and um see what they recommend you to do from there but um, another the last thing under the bad category is being bored and long hours so you will have to get used to driving for very long hours um, like I said, me and my team driver are considered good runners. Uh, we tend to max out our clock every single day. We try to go from anywhere from 10 to 11 hours driving every single day. And if we're doing stores, we end up going from 12 to 14 hours because we're there unloading all the truck stops and stuff like that. So we tend to max out our clock almost every single day. So that goes hand in hand with the pay and what i was talking about being bored is you get used to your music if you play spotify pandora like i do 
you get tired of the same music over and over and over. So I suggest you listen to podcasts. Um, I have YouTube Premium, so I'm always listening to YouTube videos. Recently, I started listening to like hour-long um, comedy stand-up videos, and it, I recommend those in general because you're engaging with it. Like you're listening to a joke, and then you're bursting out like at two in the morning. You know, just dying, cracking up. So that that's what has kept me. Um, awake it's kept me from thinking of the time it's making time go faster so i recommend stuff like that before i get to the good stuff i um also loves um if you guys tend to go to loves i recommend you get a loves rewards card because not only does it give you free showers i have diamond status right now where i get unlimited showers unlimited refills on sodas or coffees if you bring your own cup and um you get points so every point you get it's like a penny so i'm at the point where i'm paying for my food with my points so it's pretty nice because i go into the subway i order my food whatever and then at the end i'm like hey i want to pay with my points boom i pay zero dollars cash or debit card nothing it all goes from my points which is really awesome especially if you don't want to spend money like your own money and stuff like that boom pay with your points simple as that no issues with that um so it's pretty nice so i recommend you guys get a rewards card either loves pilot petrol whatever whatever gas station you guys go to frequently but let's get on with the good things um and i'm gonna start off with the things from dedicated especially so dedicated team you have weekly home time like i said every week you get to go home uh, and it's really nice because you don't have to submit home time requests you get to go home every week no issues um, they send you a text, hey, we have a load um, for you at 3, 4 p.m. Um, early in the morning. That way you have time to plan out to see what time to get here and stuff like that. Another thing is you have steady routes. For Target, at least, we only go to Utah and Arizona. So we know exactly the stores we're going to. Yeah, there's several stores in each um, state and stuff. But um, when I hear, okay, I'm going to this store. Okay, I know that these people use um, the electric pallet jack. I know these people are going to go fast. These people take a little bit longer. Um, this parking lot is easier to park in. This one's super hard and stuff like that. It's blindside. Just things like that. You get really used to it. Oh, the sun's coming out. Um, but yeah, little to no wasted time which also goes to like not staying overnight at uh, like truck stops and stuff like that. Literally, you get a load, you take it, you deliver, you come back. There's literally not much wasted time. The only wasted time sometimes is when you have a backhaul. The last trip we did, we had a backhaul and that one was a pain because we were there for several hours and that's why we're not running right now. Right now we're waiting for a good trip, which is considered a Utah trip because utah trips are about 300 bucks a day and you could do it in a day we go 3 to 4 p.m drive all the way to utah come back the next day and get uh, like an arizona trip and go tomorrow so it'll take about a day to go to um to utah and make 300 bucks so that's why we love getting utah trips um, another thing is the good pay so at least for us we're considered like i said good runners i don't like i'm not bragging it's just saying that we don't like stopping we don't like uh, wasting time but um we average about 12 to 1400 bucks every single week gross so um after taxes that's still about a thousand bucks yeah they do screw me with taxes because i don't have a wife i don't have kids no dependents so they do take a lot off of me from taxes but at the end of the day, it's still over $1,000 a week, and that is pretty nice, especially for being with the company for under 12 months. Um, another good thing is the sleep time. You know, the truck is always moving, but oh, the truck is always moving, but you do get a lot of sleep time because we tend to max out our clocks. So we end up getting from anywhere from 10 to like 14, 16 hours of rest or sleep or birth time every single day. So that's pretty nice. Um, another thing is um, the working AC. These trucks are phenomenal with the AC, at least the ones that I've gotten so far. But um, I've driven through, through deserts where it's like 118, 119 degrees in Arizona, and I'm in the truck freezing. So that is awesome. I'd rather be freezing in the truck than be sweaty and like, uh, no, I'd rather be in the cold where it's like really hot outside. 
Um, and then my last two things are, I'm already on my six month mark, which means I could upgrade to a trainer. For those of you guys that know, I think I'm gonna upgrade to a trainer. Maybe not right away, um, because things are going great with my partner and I, we're making over a thousand a week after taxes. But I wanna be a trainer, you know, I wanna upgrade, it's good pay, stuff like that, good experience. And it's just nice, you know, um, helping other people get used to being truck drivers. So I wanna be a truck uh, trainer, I'm gonna upgrade soon. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe in the future I might be training you guys, for those of you guys that are not in the school yet, maybe down the road. But um, now I know that I'm six months away from being contract free. So after 12 months with the company, you don't have to pay the school tuition. CR England takes care of it. A lot of people are scared, like, oh, I don't want to join because what if I quit after like five months, etc., stuff like that. Then you would have to pay the tuition. But after 12 months, you're tuition free and you're good to go. So I know that I'm six months away. I'm halfway there. But um, but yeah, those are just some of the few good things, some of the few bad things. Um, I do have a drone as well, along with my GoPro. So I will be making different, more better videos, hopefully in the future. But um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I, I'm getting really hungry. And right now I'm waiting for a Utah trip. It's barely like what? It's barely like 12. Um, no, no, mom. It's, it's barely nine in the morning. We have our Utah trip at three or 4 p.m. So um, I'm probably gonna go to Ono Hawaiian. I just realized there's an Ono Hawaiian right next to right next to the Target spot. So that's dangerous because I love Ono Hawaiian. So I'm probably gonna stuff my face right now. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye.